Hey guys, um, so throughout our, our videos, there has been a lot of uh, comments about the blades, the blade options that you have with the 60 volt super recycler. Uh, in case you don't know, or you know, you just found this video, there are two blades that come with the 60 volt super recycler. Uh, one is on it and it's the uh, economy blade. But also in the box is a performance blade. Um, so Toro will send you out, uh, you know, another option. I think it's a bagging option. And there's a third blade. There may be a fourth blade, but there's a third blade that I know of. That's the high lift blade, and this isn't this isn't included with the super recycler. So what we have here is the economy blade, the performance blade, and this is the high lift blade. And in the description we'll leave the, uh, the, the model numbers for these blades. But they all have a, they all have a different, uh, uh, I guess, purpose uh, to start the, the economy blade that comes on the super recycler is for longer run times and it's it's more of a mulching blade and you get some longer run times because the it's a pretty much a flat blade uh, there's you know very little drag on this blade so with less drag you're you're looking at longer run times and also included in the box, the performance blade is more of a, I would say it's more of a um, bagging blade, but it also mulches very well. Um, and then I, you know, just recently picked up the uh, high lift blade and I've mowed with it four times and I'm pretty happy with it. They all have, I would say they all have their, you know, their they're plus and minuses so you know to start and this is all my opinion I would say the economy blade which is which is this one here it like I said is good for for longer run times it's a great mulcher uh, and it's good for cutting low because once you go to a to a higher cut you're gonna you're gonna want the blade the 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 grass blades to lift, you know, as you're cutting, and this doesn't have much lift, um, and along with the the negative part of that would be that uh, it has very little suction, and it's not good for bagging because you're not really gonna pick the grass up and throw it into the bag. And now the performance blade. I would say is the best balance um, between the three blades. Uh, it has still has the mulching, still does really well with mulching. Uh, it, it, it has pretty decent suction power and it's pretty good with bagging. And you're going to, on the negative side, you're going to get less run time. Because as you can see, economy, performance. It has a little more drag. It has a little more lift, a little more curve to the blade. So, you know, the motors, the motor on the the mower is going to have to work harder to uh, to spin, you know, with the drag. And then moving on to the high lift blade, I would say the advantages to it is it has great suction. I mean, it, it really is on par with my Honda. I used to have it really sucks up the, the sticks and the, the leaves and, you know, everything that you run across. Um, it's a great, great blade for bagging. It's going to pick all that stuff up and throw it in the bag. And it's good for cutting high because you're, you're going to lift all those blades of grass up and then you're going to chop them. So... Uh, the negatives on this blade are that if you have a mulch bed and you're, you're 
running by, you know, alongside, like we all do, mowing alongside your mulch bed, it'll actually pick up mulch. Uh, just suck it up right out of your, I mean, even if you're, a, you know, an inch off of your mulch bed, it will, it will find things in your mulch bed to pick up. Um, and to me, it's been a little frustrating on that end. Uh, one thing I could do is, is probably trim ahead of time so that I can stay a little bit off, uh, off the mulch bed. But uh, you're also, the, the, another negative is that you're, you're going to get, I would say, much less run time because you, you, have, <clears throat> you have a huge curve in this blade, and, th and that means drag. And you're really going to make the motor, uh, you know, run harder. And to straighten these all out so you can see, get these lined up for you, you can see the bottom being the economy blade. And then the performance blade in the middle, and in the top here, we have the high lift blade. And you can see quite a difference in those. So I, I mean, I would say that this this performance blade is is a happy medium here in between your options. Um, you know, with the economy, if you're if you just want to go out and get your grass cut, you don't have any trees you don't you know you're not overly uh picky about how your grass looks they all cut well let me add that but then you, and you want that long run time <clears throat> just leave the economy blade on and cut your grass you're going to be happy with it um you know and if you're a bagger if you if you like to bag your grass you're going to want to you're going to want to run with the the high lift blade that's going to throw everything in that bag for you um, if you are somebody in the middle and I'm leaning, almost leaning, <clears throat> excuse me, this way is if you're just somewhere in the middle, you, you know, you do take a little pride in your, in your lawn and you want to do a little bit of everything. You want to, you want to mulch and you, then you want to bag, but you don't want to change blades out all the time. You, you stick with this performance blade. I think it's a good option, but you get these two blades with you get the economy blade and the performance blade with the mower and then this is just another twenty dollars so i like having all three um i'm going to use this high lift blade quite a bit this fall there's going to be several cuts uh as the leaves are falling or more than probably several there's probably going to be six or eight cuts as soon as the leaves start falling and I'm going to use this high lift blade. <clears throat> I'm going to, you know, bag up those leaves. So I wanted to also add something I've noticed. And it's kind of might be hard to see here, but I took a paint stick, a white paint stick, and I, I kind of tried to highlight it a little bit for you. Uh, it seems to me that the economy blade is the cutting edge is just a little bit longer. And then the performance is a little bit shorter than that. And then the, the high lift gets a little bit shorter than that. So it kind of does this, you know, angled. I'm not sure if that's just because the blade's dropping at the end. Uh, it sure looks to me straight shot on it here, but it sure looks to me like the the blades are getting shorter as we go up to the the high left. But I'm going to do a demo on all three of these and I'll give you an idea of how they cut. I'm going to lay some sticks and some leaves and grass out and and mow it you know I'm just gonna go with mulching I'm gonna mow it up and you can see you can see I'm I'm only guessing this but we're gonna see together that this economy blade is probably gonna throw the sticks out of the way 
And then when you get to the performance plate, it's probably going to suck up some of the stuff and it's going to mulch, you know, this one's going to mulch, but then this one's going to mulch and kind of suck up and, and, and mulch it up even finer because it's grabbing that stuff up off the ground. And I believe this one's going to probably chop everything up a little finer just because it's getting it up into the deck longer, but we'll see together. Uh, let me, let me get out there and uh, give you a demo on these three blades. Okay, so here's uh, three piles of things I found out of the woods. So I tried to make them as even as possible. <clears throat> we have some grass and some sticks and leaves. So I'm going to run the economy over this. We got a little bit of everything in here. I'm gonna run the performance over this and the high lift over this. So trying to be as fair as possible. So there's the three three piles. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, here's the uh, three blades, three blade comparison. So this first one is the economy blade. As you can see, it didn't do a very good job picking up everything, which is kind of expected, but it's a little harder to tell the difference between these two. So here we have the performance blade. It looks like I left a line on each side, maybe just thrown it out to the edge of the deck. But if we go over here to the high lift blade, it, you know, there's these piles weren't perfect. Although I noticed big clumps left, I also see along the left left side here that it is cleaned up just a little bit more. It looks like it just cleaned it up a little bit more, but it's really hard between these two to tell a big difference. As you can see over here, like I said, it looks it looks cleaner, but it left this clump here. It left kind of a clump on each side a little bit, but it's not quite as clean through here as it is through here. But it did leave this so it's it's really hard to say i can tell you one thing that the economy blade didn't do nearly the job as these both of these blades have a lift to them the performance in the economy or the uh, performance in the high lift have a have a curve to them so they have suction power but there you go it's hopefully that uh, clears things up for anybody that's wondering about the uh the three blades so all right I appreciate you watching and there you have it